I paid fifteen dollars for the ones at Home Goods. The Amazon ones were twelve dollars. And I said, I know you lie. Gas prices are up and down. Chick Fil A keep going up on their prices. I don't judge me. Get it's stuck in my bracelet. <laughs> everybody my name is Andrea if you're new here and if you are feel free to hit that subscribe button down below to my OG subscribers thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video everyone loves a good Amazon haul and I give the people what they love so here are a few finds that found their way to my home and I hope you find them to be as dope as I did so first up for my haul is this miniature lamp and now I should say these lamps because in true Andrea fashion, I have multiples because I'm a psycho, but that's neither here nor there. Now two confessions. I know this is an Amazon haul, but I got this from Home Goods. I knew you was lying. I knew you was lying, man. I'm sorry, Connor. You a liar. Before you get all huffy, just let me explain, okay? <laughs> I found the exact one on Amazon and it was cheaper. So backstory, I'm in the checkout line, just minding my own business, and I look up and these were staring at me, whispering. Come to me. What you want though? <laughs> Come to me. What you want though? Bring me home, bring me home. So I bought them. I got home, did some research, just in case there was a dupe out there that I can link for you guys, and boom, found it on Amazon. I paid $15 for the ones at Home Goods. The Amazon ones were $12. And I said, I know you lie. Could I have just eaten the $3 difference? Hell no. Hell on. Nope. I ordered the ones on Amazon and got my receipt ready to return the ones to Home Goods. I don't know about y'all, but $3 goes a long way over here, okay? Gas prices are up and down. Chick fil A keep going up on their prices. I. That $3 can be used somewhere else, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me. So this is the Amazon lamp, exactly the same. And you're probably thinking, no, it's not. The Home Goods one is a different color. Shut up. No! That's my second confession. This lamp didn't come this color. I DIY'd it. So I used my beautiful, actually, let me get it for you so I can show you. So I used this Zara candle holder that I showed you a few videos ago um, as my muse. And I think I did amazing. I just got some paint from Lowe's and just kind of went to town with it. So like you guys saw, it just comes in a white shade, clean, simple, which is fine. But I really think making it this dark clay feel really elevated it and I'm just, I'm just so in love with it. Now this comes with a um, plug, but if you want it to, there's a hack where you can cut the actual cord off <laughs> and put a rechargeable light bulb inside so you can still get the light but not have the hassle of the cord. I won't be doing that because I don't care that much, but just in case somebody else is concerned about the cord, there you go. Needless to say, you can use this lamp everywhere. I love the look of a lamp on a windowsill and this fits perfectly in mine. Mine aren't super shallow, so this is fine, but I feel like even if you have like a shallow windowsill, these will fit because they're so miniature and little. Little lamps like this also look amazing on countertops, especially if you don't have a ton of space, but you still want some kind of light. You know, that little glare, that little flare. <laughs> these look amazing there and they also look so good in bookcases, which I am definitely going to be using this in mind because I feel like it's just amazing. Right now I have... It's stuck in my bracelet. What? Okay. <laughs> I have my Japanese rice paper lamp right now in my bookcase, which like I said, I love the look of a lamp in a bookcase, but being honest, it's just too big right there. So I cannot wait to replace this. So I can't wait to replace that with this. Oh, it's gonna be so dope. Next up is one of the most epic pieces I have ever found. Hands down. I have been looking for an affordable tabletop easel for like ever. And here she is, which, and here she is. Now I didn't have time to do an art piece. I was gonna do like a miniature one, kind of like 
this one behind me and kind of stick it in here so you guys can see the art display that this can give um but like i said i didn't have time so i decided to just kind of put a book in here and i think this is amazing like y'all know how much i love books this is just a different way to display all my coffee table books it fits perfectly like a glove um this does go i think it can hold like a 16 inch i think it may be a little bit more um but the description said 16 by something i don't know um but like i said this book fits perfectly in here just holds it by these little clamps now i know rh has something similar to this um but you know how those prices go <laughs> and i have seen it on etsy as well but those are actually a hundred dollars they don't come in this finish but you can spray paint them this actual stand keeps going in and out of stock i had to stalk the link for weeks to get the original price which is around 52 dollars last time i checked my lion <laughs> right now i think they do have some on sale but they're not on sale they're for sale for a double <laughs> And no ma'am <laughs> but i just love this so so much the finish is like this aged bronzy brassy type vibe and like i said this is just a different way to display your art or your books and this is gonna look so good in my bookcase actually let's try it out dead stunning now of course i'm gonna have to move all the rest of that stuff out of the way in order for you to get the true feel i'll try to do that before this video comes out um to kind of style it up for you guys but that with oh my gosh with this lamp next to it <laughs> i'm brilliant you're genius i feel like this isn't really giving what i think it gives in my head so i'll try to do like a little styling tidbit for you guys on the side tomorrow because actually the sun is going down and it's getting kind of dark in here so we need to wrap this up a few weeks ago i told you guys that i bought a tree and i love it now ideally i would have like an atrium where the plants just go wild and flourish and grow and just give that life that nature element to my space or like a greenhouse lounge with trees just everywhere those spaces live rent free in my head and my pinterest board but for now we're gonna work with what we got and be grateful for that and i can't even keep a flower alive so <laughs> yeah <laughs> now my tree is eight feet tall which Clearly, I can't hold that up for you, so she will have to make an entrance somewhere on the side of this screen. I will insert a video. I love it, y'all. Like, it's amazing. I actually ordered it after Stephanie from the Rodmore House. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Over on Instagram, she told her audience, us, that Amazon had this tree that she ordered and it was on sale. When I tell you it was on super sale, it was on super sale. I got it for a whopping. $132. Yeah. An eight foot fiddle fig leaf tree for $132. That's unheard of. Okay. Now they did have a 10 foot tree, which I was going to get, but then I was like, what? What? Wait, my ceilings aren't 10 feet. It's up for the highest point of my vaulted ceiling in my living room. But for the most part, my ceilings are nine feet. So I'm glad I got the eight. It looks very realistic in my opinion. It's not too green or too silky, if that makes sense. I am looking for a tall planter, like a cylindrical one. Ones I've seen on Pinterest, I'll insert some inspo somewhere on the side. I'm actually on the hunt for that. But like I said, I just love the look of it and that sale price made it even better okay guys that is it for me today thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me i will link everything for you guys down below in the description box and hopefully everything is in stock if not just stalk it i mean i feel like i tell you guys this every time in every video just stalk the pieces 90 percent of the time it comes back don't forget to like comment and share hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't take care of yourselves those around you and your mental health and i will see you guys in my next video but until then peace out